Welcome back to another lesson in the study of success. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that every business owner should know about their business. Every business has indicators that lets them know how they're doing. We call these key performance indicators or KPI. Knowing your KPI gives you the ability to have the information on hand to be able to make decisions to improve your KPI is always the goal. Never stop improving. Continuous process improvement will help your business continue to grow and flourish. Before I get started, I'm going to give you five key performance indicators that every business owner should know. But here's a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Bringing Fellow Accounting Solutions, where we offer premium bookkeeping, payroll, and tax preparation services at affordable rates. Let's see how we can service you. Send us an email with your contact information and get a free consultation. Here are the five key performance indicators that every small business owner should know. Number one, your cost per client or customer. Every client that you sell to, or every customer that you serve, every person that walks through your door that you provide something to in exchange for money has a cost associated with them. You need to know exactly how much it costs to service that client or customer. By knowing that, it helps you in setting your prices because you can never price something lower than what it costs you or you'll be pricing in an automatic deficit, which is a losing scenario. So knowing the cost is important because that's gonna be one of the first things that you look at when developing a pricing model. Number two, gross income per client or customer. So every customer or client that comes into the door, they're either gonna be making you money or losing you money. By knowing what your gross income per client is, you're, you've just added another piece of the formula for, again, developing that pricing model that helps establish a baseline so that your prices, if you meet a certain amount of clients, of course, but we're going per client. So on a per client basis, you wanna be seeing a little bit of net income, which leads to number three your net income per client. That is when you take your gross profit per, your gross income per client, minus out your cost per client, is gonna need, leave you with your net income per client. That's important because your price cannot be or should be equal to what that net income is or better. So that gives you the ratio or the, the bottom line number that each client should be bringing you in. So if it costs you $5 per client, but each client brings in a gross income of $7, your net profit per client is $2. So now you know what to charge. You charge whatever you're selling, the good or service, in a way so that at the end of the day, your bottom line is $2 per client in how much you make, that's your profit. Number four, another key performance indicator is your conversion ratio. Your conversion ratio is how many clients do you have to talk to or how many customers do you have to see before you make a sale, before you close a deal. If you have to talk to 10 clients in order to close one deal, now you know that your conversion ratio is one out of every 10. And what you wanna do is find what your baseline is, because if you do this long enough and you track it, you'll get to understand and see what your baseline is. I've just learned that for every 100 clients or leads that I follow up on, I close 10. That makes my conversion ratio 10 to one. That's cool, because now I can project out how many clients, potential clients, I have to talk to in order to potentially get how many actual closed deals 
This helps me with revenue or income projections. We want to be able to forecast our income so that we can predict where our profit is going to be for the next year. So this definitely helps you with that. Number five, retention. Every client or customer has a certain amount of time that they're going to stay with you. Some are longer than others. For businesses based off of relationships, your client retention ratio or marker may be the average client stays with you for three years or one year or 10 years or five years, whatever that number may be. You got to get an idea how long you're keeping your clients. Once you get a benchmark on how long each client is going to stay with you, and we're talking about the average client, then you can get an idea of where your cash is coming from again. You can get an idea of the turnover ratio of your clients. And the same way when there's customers, when you're selling them a product, then it's about uh, coming back. How many returning customers or clients do you have? So like if it's a business where you have to see the client seasonal, do they return to you each season? Or if it's a product that you're selling the client, um, you want to know that once the, 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 the product is exhausted, do they return to you again to get a replenishment? So this is all about tracking data. This is data matrix. The more data you have, the more information you can use in order to formulate decisions. And this goes into your business planning model. All of these things are important for longevity and continuity, which creates sustainability for any small business. So that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the five key performance indicators. I hope this lesson was helpful. I hope you got something useful out of it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I'll be uploading business-related, success-related content on a weekly basis. These are the things that is going to get you from where you are to where you want to be. Until the next time, I'll see you in the good life.